now welcome to another lesson then today we are tackling the 2010 paper 3 biology and let's see what the students were being asked in question one you are provided with a whisking tubing solution labeled l iodine solution labeled labeled solution e and the benedict solution labels as solution f in the piece of thread tie one end of the whisking tubing tightly using the thread provided with the help of the syringe put 10 millimeter milliliter of the solution labeled l into the whisking tubing and then you tie the other end of the whisking tubing tightly then ensure that the three that there is no leakage at the both ends of the whisking tubing <clears throat> and then you wash the outside of the whisking tubing with water place the whisking tubing upright in a hundred milliliter beaker add distilled water in the beaker to reach the level of the liquid in the whisking tubing then you allow it to set up and stand for 30 minutes or more now here when you see the whisking tubing this is we are test this is concept of osmosis that's the concept that we are testing here and then you are told in a using two millimeter in a test tube in each test for the food substance in liquid outside the whisking tubing using test one iodine solution e now here the procedure will be very easy you will only add three drops of the iodine solution and then you shake add three drops of iodine solution and then you shake here the brown color of the iodine will be retained the brown color of iodine is retained therefore the starch was absent outside the skin tube starch was absent and then in in the benedict f in solution f now you you put the two millimeter milliliter of the benedict solution in a test tube and then you heat to boil heat to boil then the color will change to orange the color changes to orange here the reducing sugar are present then you be at all using 2 ml the test in each case tell the full substance that was the full substance inside now here was the out, outside now here is the inside using you are using the you are using the the same test now he also add the three drops of iodine and then you shake here blue black color is absorbed then here the starch were present starch present And then Roman 2 the procedure is you add 2 millimeter you repeat the procedure to a male of Benedict and then you heat to boil heat to boil then the color changes to orange
They are for so here they're reducing sugar present. Sugar present. And by now a student should be able to know these all procedures to test for any food substance. Now you are told account the result in A and B. Here now, as you have seen, outside outside the whisking tubing, the starch molecules didn't pass. Therefore, the starch was absent. And inside, the starch are present. Therefore, you will see the whisking tubing allowed the whisking... <coughs> Is very semi permeable because it allowed the small molecules because small permeable because it allowed small sized reducing sugar to pass inside using sugar to pass as you have seen reducing sugar was present to pass why but didn't allow the starch molecules to pass because there are large starch molecules to pass because they are large That's all. Now question two, photograph labeled JKM1 and M2, a section of the mammalian heart. Examine them. As you can see these are the hearts. Then you are seeing the blood vessels there. And then you are told in A, the blue, green and the cream string go through various blood vessels and end up various chambers of the heart for each string name the chamber where the string ends and the blood vessel through which strings goes now for our photograph the they are not very well visible but the blue the blue one was from from the right ventricle right ventricle while the green one was the left ventricle and then cream the cream and cream one and cream two was the right auricle and cream two the left auricle now in the heart you should be able to know the where which is the right which is the left which is the fair ventricle which is the auricle like that now let us answer our question I've said the blue one was the right ventricle and then here the green one was the left ventricle here was the right auricle while the second one was the left auricle and after you have identified those parts and then you should be able to know the the blood vessels around those regions and then here like right ventricle up there is the blood vessels known as pulmonary artery even here left ventricle the aorta is there the branch branch of aorta is there and then right ventricle the vena cava is there and then left the pulmonary pulmonary vein i'll advise a student to go to book two transport in plant in animals and then look the structure of the heart very well and then you are told to name the part labeled 3 in K, photograph K. Now 3 is here, this one. This is the septum. That is the septum. So number 3, this is the septum. 
And then you are told in C, the parts labeled 4 and 5 are walls of the two chambers of the hut. Account the difference, their thickness of the walls. The 3 and the 4 are the 4 and the 5. So you can see, 4, for this is one, this one is very thick than this one. Why? Because this pumps blood all to all parts of the body. That's the reason for the thickness. You see, 4 is thicker than 5. Because 4 pumps, 4 pumps blood for long distance. All to all over to all parts of the body. Then you're told with the reason you should identify identify the type and each blood vessels X and Y. These are the X and this is the Y. The X is the this is I think this is the vein. That is the vein and this is the artery. Should identify this is the veins. Then we are told with a reason to know why is it a vein. How do you know this? Because it has a thick, the a thin wall has thin walls. Sorry, has thin walls. And the other one is the artery. This opposite has thick wall. As you can see, these are thick. Then, as the quals, the quals. Then you go to question three. The photographs labeled Q, R, S, and T are sections of some of the plants. It's the bean pod, the orange, and this is the tomato. And then the next page we have the mango. Now you are being told name the type of placentation specimen shown Q R N S. This is the Q R N S. This is, has a margin of placentation because then these seeds are found in the margin. And then photograph R is the axle presentation also here all the central central presentation also here this is the axial presentation of the central presentation now you answer your question the first one you have seen this is the marginal presentation the orange has the axial placentation and this is the central of the axial placentation. Then B label a seed in photograph R and S. R and S. As you can see, my R, R is the orange. And this is the seed. While this one for tomato this is the seed. Then you continue. Then you are told. Name the parts labeled 6, 7, 8, and 9, and 10. This is from the mango. These numbers. Photograph T. Now my number 6. This is the outer part. This is the epi cup. And then my number seven, this is the seed. Number eight, this is the endocup. And then this is my number nine, this is the mesocup. And my number ten, this is the remain of the stock. Remain of the flower stock. Stock. Now we label them in the answers. Seed number six, the epicarp. Seed, endocarp, 
may soak up the stock or the remain of the stock remain then I'm told give a reason in each case and name one mode of the disperse of each specimen in photograph Q and T Q and T Q and T Q is the bean pod and then T the T as you can see is the mango Q now my, the mode of dispersal is the self dispersal is the self dispersal why? because the bean pod has lines of weakness of the searchers then T that the animal dispersal the mango animal dispersal why? Why have we said the animal is possible? Because as the fleshy mesocarp has fleshy mesocarp. That's all. Thank you. And to all my viewers, I appreciate. Continue viewing and sharing and commenting. God bless you. I hope you are enjoying the lesson. Do me a favor and subscribe. Thank you.